Just a quick reminder, this blog update is best enjoyed with headphones on. Here, coming in here with a channel update, giving you guys an inside scoop on what's going on with the channel and over the next couple of months. Well, I've still yet to go through a single seizure, so there's no much point in supplying a health update. So, this channel update will be primarily focused on what's going on in the coming months. Well, on the review front, there are changes that will be effective immediately due to my epilepsy. First off, day one reviews will be a lot less frequent as there is very little time for me to prepare and create the review itself. It's instead that will be simply replaced with week one reviews. Now these should give you a rough idea on whether or not this any new release title is suitable for your impairments. And by Joe we got a, quite a few releases which I have pre-ordered or day one releases on Xbox Game Pass and, and I intend to post a review within its launch week. These titles include Age of Wonders 4, Minecraft Legends, and a major blast from the past from the Game Boy Advance era, which will most likely will be posted this week coming. And certainly by no means least, the sixth entry into Capcom's world-renowned fighting game series, Street Fighter. Lastly, reviews will be halted for a period of four weeks, more specifically from the 16th of July to the 10th of August, with the exception of the memorial review will be posted on the 7th of August. Ironically enough, that's the exact reason why I'm taking a break from reviews. As I may have previously said numerous times on the channel, the 7th of August is probably one of the most emotional dates of the year, as that fateful day changed both my past, present and future. In my situation, i.e. epilepsy, taking new review projects while emotionally charged is a definite no-no. The weeks leading up to the 7th of August is the danger zone. By the way guys, not of the Tom Cruise variety. They're further within by far too risky for me to do so. Yes, I am medicated and better against it, however, that is basically like the vaccine for the COVID virus. Yes, it builds up your defenses should you get the virus, but it doesn't completely make you immune. But enough talk of the review side of the channel. Now it is time for my two-tailed coal pilot from Miami to take over the rest of the update to keep you guys informed to what's going on on the Let's Play side of the channel. So Tails, over to you. Hey everyone, Mal says Prower, assistant manager of DGR Plays. So first off, let's kick off this Let's Play update in a very sad note. In the previous announcements, we announced a Let's Play Black Mesa the Half-Life remake. However, due to the 4040p the gaming monitor that was supplied and the RTX 3070, the game itself was turned into a buggy mess with the screen flashing left, right and center. Yes, you can see the reason why we're not doing this game in the first place. However, look at this. So the footage you're seeing here is from a fan-made modification for the original Half-Life released in 1998, called the Half-Life M mod. The mod itself released on Steam very recently, which added compatibility fixes with modern hardware and operating systems, for example, Windows 11, with a few small graphical upgrades thrown in the mix. Although we tried to record a let's play of the ray trace version of Half-Life, however, ray tracing is very demanding on a PC hardware. In order to run these games at high resolution, for example 4040p, you are reliant on super sampling te techniques, for example, Nvidia's DLSS or deep learning super sampling to run at an acceptable frame rate, even for 30 series cards. So we'll be doing a let's play of Half-Life using this particular mod as of how it looked back in the 90s. And then it'll be back to Aperture Science with Portal 2. And then the entire saga comes to an epic conclusion with Half-Life 2 Episode 2. And even Half-Life Alex if there's an, any VR non-VR mod available. So that's more or less it we're, we're going to be covering in this channel update. So we'll sign off. This is Smile Tales Prower all the way from Kid Rock, Miami. Assistant Manager of DGR Plays. Over and out.